When it comes to expectations about motorcycles, there can be two outcomes. You could either set the bar really low and the motorcycle could surpass that bar and you would go, wow. Or you can set the bar really high and the motorcycle may not meet those expectations and then there'll be disappointment. Well, speaking about expectations, we have a lot to expect from the Aprilia RS457, especially after we rode this motorcycle at the Curry Motor Speedway a few months ago. This motorcycle's performance really blew our minds. But today, we are out here in the real world and it's time to find out if this motorcycle is really that good. Let's begin by assessing the core of the motorcycle, the 457cc parallel to an engine. This is a brand new engine and uh, we've had a fair share of concerns about it. So on the racetrack, I really like the performance of the engine, but my concerns were with how will this engine deal with Indian traffic, Indian weather conditions, uh, what the tractability going to be like, what the fuel efficiency going to be like. And I have to say that this engine truly impressed me. First of all, in the city, the tractability is just outstanding. You can keep it in high gears at low speeds and you won't even realize that you are running a really low speed in those high gears. And uh, so there's no sign of protest from the engine at all. You roll on the throttle and there's enough torque right from the bottom and the mid-range. So you're barely even shifting gears. Speaking of shifting gears, the clutch action is super light, very featherweight uh, action on the clutch. At the same time, there's good feel for you to modulate the clutch. At the same time, the gear shift, the gear box rather, is very smooth. The shifts are very smooth and precise at the same time. So it takes a lot of effort out of commuting, you know. So uh, in terms of rideability, great engine. At the same time, there's good performance in the midsection, as I said. So pulling overtakes is very, very easy in the city. So out on the highway, again, the engine feels smooth. There's barely any vibrations. I remember testing the Kawasaki Ninja 500, which is one of its chief competitors uh, a few weeks ago, and that engine felt quite vibey. Uh, but this bike, 120, is so refined and peaceful. So, so kudos to Aprilia to really come up with an engine that feels so good, it feels so refined, and at the same time, it's quite characterful. Uh, the power delivery, again, is very linear. The superb rideability aside, what remains the cherry on top of this lovely engine is the performance it packs. It isn't aggressive like a KTM 390 engine, but it feels quick and friendly as well. The turn of speed is really quick though, it's one of the quickest motorcycles in the segment. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't feel as if it's gonna uh, overwhelm you. So even if you're a new rider, you're stepping up to a multi-cylinder motorcycle, a twin-cylinder motorcycle to be specific, uh, this motorcycle won't scare you at all. So the power delivery is good, the refinement is great, the fuel economy is also in the ballpark of competitors. We put the bike through our usual city fuel economy test cycle and we managed to squeeze 23.4 kilometers per litre. The figure should climb to anything above 30 kilometers a litre once you ride this bike on the highway. We also managed to get properly stuck for close to two hours in Mumbai's infamous traffic. And while the engine felt warm, it never put out a high temperature warning, which indicates a pretty efficient heat management system. Speaking of spending a long time in the saddle, the riding position of the bike, though sporty, wasn't as taxing as we'd expected. So when you're riding a motorcycle that's so focused, it's a sporty motorcycle and you're seated like this for say an hour in traffic, you don't want a riding position that's going to put a lot of strain on your wrists, on your lower back, as well as your neck. And thankfully, the Aprilia's riding position is comfortable yet sporty. Yes, the foot pegs are quite rare set, but the reach through the handlebar isn't too forward and also the clip-ons aren't too low. At the same time, the clip-ons are also placed in such a way that they are wide, so it feels spacious and comfortable even for a tall rider like me and I'm 5 feet 11 inches. Also, these wide handlebars offer a lot of leverage for you to turn the bike into a corner with minimal effort. So, if you're thinking about riding down to a racetrack in India, several hundred kilometers from home, or even a short tour to the next town, the RS457's riding position isn't punishing for you to end up visiting the local chiropractor. In fact, even the ride quality of the bike, though firm, isn't bad at all. 
So the ride quality is good for the most part. We are riding over Mumbai's wavy concrete surfaces, and we encountered a few potholes as well. And over that, the suspension does a good job of absorbing all of these jolts. The only thing is that at the rear, once you're riding at high speed, you feel a bit of a bump because it's slightly underdamped at the back. But otherwise, overall, given the sporty nature of this motorcycle, the ride quality is actually quite good. And when it comes to the handling, as was the case on the racetrack, even on the road, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. The flickability, the poise of the chassis, the way this bike goes around a corner with minimal effort, and the precision of the front end. That's what I really like about this bike. Again, this bike also comes with really good tires, and that helps boost your confidence, even when you're riding on a wet road. In my books, the RS457's handling is one of the best I've ever experienced. And this is across segments. Personally, I've held motorcycles that have such handling in very high regard. And not just me, but the entire bike wally team is yearning to spend time with this motorcycle on a racetrack. I can already foresee a big fight for the keys to the bike when that happens. Anyways, the one huge concern that everyone had was with the stock brakes of the bike when we rode it in Coimbatore. So as for the brakes, the bike that we rode at the Curry Motor Speedway, that bike had organic brake pads and because of that we experienced a lot of brake fade when we were braking hard repeatedly at Curry's stop and go layout. But in the case of this test bike, it's equipped with sintered brake pads. It also has an adjustable brake lever and the feel, the bite, the progression is far better than what we experienced when we rode the bike at the Curry Motor Speedway. Mechanically, the bike is quite sorted, although it is too early to speak about reliability. As for the design, Aprilia has done an outstanding job. The RS457 has the typical Italian motorcycle flair in its design. Be it the shape of the fairing, the DRLs, or the sleek tail section, this motorcycle is undeniably good looking. As for the quality, it's good almost everywhere, save for the bolts on the clip-ons that aren't of the grade that you'd want to see on a near 5 lakh rupee motorcycle. And the finish on the switch gear could have been better. But I'm more than willing to look past this because after covering over a thousand kilometers of testing, I've had a wonderful time with the RS457. So as we said in the beginning of this video, it's all about expectations and I think when it comes to meeting expectations, this motorcycle not just meets those expectations but also surpasses them. What you have here is a bike that looks great, has a characterful engine and the handling is the cherry on top. It also manages Indian riding conditions very well, which is usually a big concern that some people have with European bikes. I also have to say that the Japanese, that is Yamaha and Kawasaki, need to learn from Aprilia because the kind of commitment that the company has shown to the sports bike market in India by making this motorcycle here and pricing it so competitively is what the Japanese need to do with their bike, especially the R3 and the Ninja 500. So if you're in the market for a twin-cylinder sub-500cc sports bike, I don't think it gets better than this because what this motorcycle makes you feel is special. And that was the feeling that everyone in the bike quality team felt after riding this motorcycle. Here's hoping that other manufacturers follow suit and give the Indian sports bike enthusiasts the chance to experience the thrill that these motorcycles offer. And that was the Aprilia RS457 for all of you. If you like the bike, if you like the video, just tell us about it in the comment section. If you own the bike, share your ownership experience with us in the comment section as well. And if you want more such videos, please like this video, smash the subscribe button. Actually, don't put that.